Ho! Welcome to Jenny Mac Generator Services. So today we've got Power Wizard Auto Generator Controlling Panel. Now this one's the cat version. The MCP 4.2. Identical to a standard Power Wizard. So here we go, this is how you'd find it. I don't know if it's difficult to see in this light, but you see how the auto's lit up there. So this is how you'd find this control panel, it's just a simple explanation this, just to tell you how to test run it, for all you guys that aren't sure. Now if you're going to do any checks on your generator, the first thing you must do is take it out of auto and push stop. Now you'll notice there's alarm flashing there, now that purely is just telling us it's not in auto. Um, so, quick demonstration now, we've got a main menu, if you push that, it'll take you to the main menu screen you can use these up down arrows okay to scroll up and down there now you guys on site purely just doing checks don't really need to be worrying about the main menu just look at your engine checks all right now you notice that there's some little stars up here and on these sets you can actually turn the ECU off so when the engine's not running the EM the engine management system isn't energized so obviously it doesn't know because all that goes through the ECU what the, the temperature is and whatnot so if we simply switch that and now energizes the ECU and there we go we've now got the coolant temperature there we now know that the coolant heater is working because the temperature there is exactly what it should be I'm just going to turn that back off because we like to leave them off when they're sat in auto so that it's not all energised causing wear and stress we have had some ECUs failing in the past so that's how we like to leave them ok so to run this set we just simply press the green button and when we're done we press the stop button and they don't stop straight away they have a cool down cycle programmed into that I will demonstrate this I can bypass that, so I, I will do that for the purpose of the video. But obviously, once the generator's all stopped, the most important thing, put it back in auto. And you can clear the alarm there, just by pressing the little bell help icon with a line through it. So, we'll give this one a run, it will get a bit noisy, but just to demonstrate what we can look at. So off we go. Stop first. So this video I skipped the cool down but assume that you've just let it all cool down and it's stopped you're happy with all your checks pop it back in auto push the bell now you saw me pressing this AC button and scrolling down that gives you voltages phase to phase and then phase to neutral and obviously they were all zeros underneath for the current because I'm just doing an offload check but I just wanted to demonstrate how to do a simple start stop Put it back in auto run for all you guys that are unsure. Okay, thanks for watching.